Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So we are starting a brand new series on creating the ultimate smart home. We're gonna start out with some kind of beginner stuff in today's video. And then as this progresses, we're gonna get into some of that more complicated things for setting up different automations and just creating an ultimate smart house using a bunch of different platforms. But for the sake of beginning this series, we are going to start with the Amazon Alexa routines. I'm gonna go over what routines are, how to use them. And then in the next video of the series, I'll be going over the routines that I am currently using in my house. So with that said, if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so to get started, we need to have an Echo device. That's either gonna be something like the Echo Dot or you can get something crazy like this guy right here, which is the Echo Show 15. Brand new one that just came out, but we need some kind of Echo device, something that is going to be controlling our system and then we're gonna need the App. Once you have those set up, we're gonna start adding different devices to our smart home. And anything that you have, let's see right here, I've got the August Wi-Fi lock. So anything you have right here that says works with Alexa is going to be something that you can integrate into this device right here. Now, either that's going to be that you can straight integrate it right into the device by clicking on the plus button in the app and then just say adding a device, or you may have to set up a skill. And a skill is going to be like, for example, right here, I would need to load up the August skill and then link up my accounts right there. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about here in the app. So let's get that loaded up. Okay, so I have my app loaded up right here. At the very bottom on the right-hand side is the more button. I'm gonna go ahead and click on more. And then here are some different options. So routines are what we're gonna be talking about, but what I was mentioning for with skills is something that you may need to enable when setting something up. So I'm gonna click on skills right here and you're going to search for different skills. So I had mentioned August. So we're gonna do a search for August right here, August Smart Lock, I'm gonna tap on that. And the top one right here, I can click on there and it's going to allow me to enable this. And what that essentially will do is it will ask me to log into the August account that I had set up with that device. And once I log in with that, it's going to link them together and then pull that lock into my Alexa app for us to use in different devices. So let's go ahead and cancel out of here. And if we go down to the tab at the very bottom, it says devices. It's the second to the last one right there. These are going to give you all of the devices that you do have in your home. Now, I've got a lot of devices in my house right here. Up at the top, we can scroll through different categories. So lights, plugs, switches, things like that. Or you can go all the way to the end and click on all devices and it'll show you everything that you have set up in your house. Like I said, I have got a lot of stuff set up here. Let's go ahead and back out of here. And we're gonna go back to the more tab and then we're gonna click on routines. So routines is way of setting up different automations. And automation means that if something is triggered, whatever we set up as the trigger, an action will happen. Or another way is, if this, then that. So for example, I've got a lot of different routines set up right here, but if you're just getting started with this, up at the top, you see in the middle, it says featured. So I can go ahead and click on featured and it's gonna give some recommendations of some different routines that we can set up. They've got some really cool ones in here and I wanted to specifically look at this one called dinner time. So if I click on this dinner time one, I can go ahead and up in the top right corner, click on enable, but there are a couple of things that I wanted to point out. First of all, this one is titled dinner time and it says when you say it's dinner time, it is going to perform the actions below. So it's going to announce it's dinner time and by doing an announcement it means it's going to announce it on all of your devices. It's gonna enable do not disturb. It's gonna set the volume of that device to level five and it's going to play dinner music. So all of that is already set up for me. I didn't set up any of that kind of stuff. All I have to do is click on enable and I'm good. I'm off and I'm ready to start. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of there because I wanted to show you guys setting up an actual routine. So up in the top right corner is the plus sign. We're gonna click on that. What we can do is we can name our routine if we wanna set up a name. And then essentially we're gonna pick when something happens. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign there and we can do voice, meaning that when you talk to your device, whatever phrase that you say could kick off this routine. We can do a schedule, so set up different schedules, times, dates, things like that. Smart home, so a smart home is going to be different devices. So it's gonna allow me to set up different things right here. At the very top, we see we've got a door sensor. So we can say anytime a door sensor opens or closes, you can set off different routines right there. We've got location. Now I like location because you can set up different locations. 
We've got the location here at my house. In addition to that, you can set up different locations. So you can have like maybe a work location and set up when I leave work. So it'll detect when you've left the area of work and it can maybe turn on your thermostat or you know different lights or different things like that. So it's cool with locations. We've got alarms here. We've got an Echo button. So Echo does sell buttons that you can push a button to trigger things, sound detection, and then the guard. So this is going to be when these things happen. We back out of there, we can then pick the action of what we want to happen. So there's gonna actually be more choices here. We've got things like setting up briefings, calendars, calling, date and time, delivery updates, drop-in notifications. We've got fire TV, guard, you know, IFTTT messaging. There's so many different things that you can do as far as is setting up an action that can happen. Now, depending on the devices you have, that might limit the routines that you can set up. But I wanted to show you a simple routine that I had just set up the other day. So we're gonna back out of here. We're gonna cancel out of this one go back to my routines and we're going to pick this one that is a back door open. So I set up a routine that anytime my back door opens at night, it's going to automatically turn on the porch lights for me. So if you look here, I named it back door open lights on. This is going to help me remember what this specific routine is. Down below it says when, so when my back door multi-purpose sensor opens and it's gonna say every day, so any day that it opens between 6 p.m. and midnight, it's gonna perform this action and that is going to be to turn on my back porch lights. So that's something that's easy and pretty simple to do. All I needed to do is I installed a smart switch. You can use smart lights if you wanna do that, it makes it a little bit easier. And then I had a door sensor that just detects when the door is opened and closed. So that's just a taste of what you can do with routines. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you all the different routines that I use with Amazon Alexa and that I use here in my house. If you guys want some ideas on what kind of maybe smart home devices that I recommend, I'm gonna leave those in the description below for you guys to check out. It's gonna be things like door and window sensors, motion sensors, light switches, smart plugs, different things like that. So you guys can go ahead and check those out if you want. If you enjoy this smart home trek that we are doing, like I said, we're starting in the beginner. So a lot of you guys, this is probably way too easy for you, but we're gonna be getting into some more complicated things as this series progresses. If there is something that you want to see me set up in the house, maybe there is an idea that you have, some kind of automation that you would like to see me set up, put it in the comments below and I will do my best to get that set up and feature it in one of these future videos. My thought process with this series is that we're gonna start out in the Amazon ecosystem. We're gonna move over to maybe smart things, get a little bit more complicated and maybe, just maybe go into Home Assistant. If you guys wanna see me jump into Home Assistant, let me know in the comments below. I'm a little reluctant to do that because it is quite complicated and I'm not even sure if there is an interest there for it. So anyway, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. I would love to hear your ideas of things that you would like to see me automate here in this house. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.